right? What's the correct way to sit? We're going to figure it out with Aaron Alexander right now. Apparently, this is a shitty chair. Is this, that is right? a sh this is a shitty chair. Why That's is the it? technical term for what this is? Why? So, because all the same business that we were talking about with the uh, standing position, we're putting ourselves into this hunched over, folded, depressed position. We're putting stress on our lumbar spine. We want to stack that and actually find this we call it indigenous curve of your lumbar spine, right? So as I'm sitting, if I had a shitty chair like this, I would get on the edge of the shitty chair so that I can come in, reach in, open up my pelvic floor, open up my sit bones, and create a nice solid foundation that I can actually start to bear weight down through my shoulders all the way into my bones. If you can't feel your sit bones, contacting the ground, you're probably failing at that point, right? So really making sure we're on the front edge of the sit bones, and then from there, that kind of corrects most things, to be honest, okay. right? So most people, though, when they're sitting in a chair, how will they sit in a chair? Most people are going to be, instead of being upright like this, like assertive, I'm ready to go, most people are going to be in this position. This is like, I got, you know, spanked, I need to go to recess, I'm in detention. It's, yeah. not, it's not a very proud position to be in. So, if you're on an airplane, for example, what's the correct way to sit on an airplane? If we assume this is an airplane seat, yeah. how should we be sitting in that? Well, if you're on an airplane, you need to bring a bottle that's bigger than this, an algae bottle. You could, you know, I would just recommend like an algae bottle or something a little bigger than this. And you put that bottle behind your thoracic spine, right? So if this bottle was a little bit bigger, ah, this is too small. so you put it up high. Yeah, you put it up high, right? Okay. So now from here, imagine this bottle is about here or so, so it's pushing me away from the thing, yes. right? And now, if you look at where my butt cheeks are, now all of a sudden, do you see how I have a lumbar yeah. lordosis? Yeah. I have a curve in my spine. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. This is healthy and strong. This is disc herniation waiting to happen. So you put a, it's like a water bottle, or can it be like your sweater or something rolled up, which you can, as long as it's... I like having something that's more solid, so you have more feedback, but um, yeah, it could be anything. You just probably and, want to stack you, it And up. you put it, and when you, when you, which part of the back are you putting it? At? So right on like the high point, um, you can call it the apex of the curve of the thoracic spine, right, right, so the highest point. And what that does is that relieves pressure on the lower back, that relieves pressure on the whole back and it also back. opens up the lungs opens up the heart yeah so you can look at your your mechanical respiratory efficiency the way that you breathe this is not efficient hunched over like this is not efficient yeah stacking that nice and strong it becomes efficient okay right and like as well that. stress on the organs yes all right so if you're watching this now and you're sitting all day at a work desk Try getting a uh, bottle of some sort and putting it on the upper back, yeah. and also just also that we should be sitting on the edge of the seat. Get on the edge of your seats. If you don't know what your sit bones are, the ischial tuberosities, the bony things coming out your butt cheeks, you need to figure that out immediately. Ask somebody. Get a yoga teacher. Get a physio. Somebody. Figure that out, and then from there, start sitting on the front edge of those. That's the big thing. If you're on the front edge of those sit bones, and all of a sudden you're starting to put the rest of your body into a stack. So I can press weight from my head straight down into my sit bones, right? And as soon as I crunch here and I press weight on my head, now the weight of my head exponentially increases, and now I have this forward head posture that nobody loves to sex sex. I come up, 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 up on the front of the sit bones. It auto-corrects what's happening to the rest. I pull my chin back. Sweet, there you go. How to sit properly with Aaron Alexander. Where do we find out more about you, Aaron? AlignTherapy.com. Check out Align Podcast. All the social media, everything is Align Podcast. There you go. Go and leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think.